What is up YouTube and welcome back to the Big Bulk series. Now, today's episode is going to be a bit of a different one. I fucked me back, so <laughs> I felt like Mike Tyson there. My back is broke, final. Now, I've hurt, I hurt me back, I was working away last week. And um, yeah, during training, basically put me back out. Um, could have been a number of things, could have been the fact that I was on a fly for X amount of hours, stiffened up a bit, a bit dehydrated, I wasn't getting my meal timings right, I had a bit less food going into a cubby, everything under the sun, but bottom line is, me back's hurting. So lower back, but we're in the day, I'm actually training back and arms, so I'm going to show you how you can train around an injury and not let it get you out of the gym completely. So, I'm really mixing stuff up today. Basically, so my, my aim today is to provide as much stimulus to the upper back and lats, biceps and triceps as I can, while keeping the lower back out of it as much as I can. So we're going to be doing chest supported rows. We're doing stuff with the arms where I'm not having to load my lower back to keep myself balanced and stable. So a lot of seated stuff, uh, machines. This is where machines come under the own, where you're not having to stabilize, you, stabilize yourself using your core, using your lower back and abs. You're taking that out and allowing yourself to do chest supported movements and other movements where your body's supported. So that's what we're going to be doing today and making sure that we're not stagnating, we're not losing progress while I'm injured and just allowing that injury to recover while I'm still making progress. So we'll jump into it, start with triceps, we're going to hit the buys and then get them in the back. So First time actually using this machine, weirdly, being training area, but not jumping on this. So finally, we wait, even a bit, um, bit off less than that, chew, let's say. Um, weight was definitely not heavy enough to get in that target range, but by the time I realised that I was too far in the set, so I just pushed it through. Um, good thing about this is it's got the back support, you can drive through your legs in a sort of horizontal plane. So. When I'm driving and driving my legs into the floor here, because I'm trying to take my lower back out, I'm driving my legs backwards into the pad, and that's going to give us that stable, that like sort of stabilization, rather than driving vertically, which is going to load my lower back a lot more. So that's what I'm trying to concentrate on doing here, is drive into the pad, give us that stability, take my lower back loading out of it, and still be able to drive harder the triceps. So again, another tricep exercise here where I'm just taking my lower back out of it completely. Flat bench, all of the load's going straight down, through my upper body. The lower body's just set to stabilise with the legs, but very, very little um, stimulation on the lower back. Uh, what you, if you have hurt yourself, like, obviously, go and see a professional if you do hurt your back. Do not take this advice. But the thing I can see is, if you can walk, move it, do so, walk about, It'll help loosen it off. It'll keep the blood flowing in there. What you don't want to do is sit around all day, let it stiffen up, get cold. Because what you'll notice is the worst pain you'll feel is the morning when you wake up. That's because you've laid still all night. There's no warm blood in there. It's just cooled right down the full area of the muscle. Get it moving, get it stimulated, go for a nice walk. You'll feel much better after it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what a daft cunt. Oh, delete that.
comer. Oh. Oh, hell. <laughs> I don't know if you're saying that, but watch how close my hands were getting together there. <laughs> Just slipping further and further. In. I was like that by the end of it. For fuck's sake. Sweaty hand bastard. Jordy, it's gone back up. First thing I want to do, so just done there, some lightweight and um, hard contractions. You see the intensity is still there, nice squeezing. Trying to get blood into the muscle there, so obviously being trained the triceps. And now I want the blood to go to the biceps before we start loading it. So everything is there and ready for it to use because your blood's carrying everything to your muscle that it needs it, needs to use. That's what I want in there. Then we're going to start loading this and get the working set. But this, I've not used this before. Old school is what you can see. It's chain driven. It's got the teeth on the seat for the for the um, movement up and down. It's just as old school as you can get, and that feels smooth as shit. So don't make them like this anymore. Fucking nice machine, that very nice keeps the um, cluster position. It's just keeping your force onto the pad in the tensions, bringing your arm into the pad. If that makes sense. So, as usual, preacher, you sort of over the top of it, and it's much easier to get that lift if you're struggling and you start to pivot with your shoulders. But this, because of the position, you're sort of getting pulled down into the pad at all times, and you haven't got that swing motion so it's forcing you and using pretty much full bicep no movement's going to be full bicep or full whatever muscle you are using and um, to isolate a muscle completely is hard to impossible so you're just going to be using a bit of other stuff but that is a very good machine Manhandled that set. Usually 12 15. I'll get there about 746 or something. So that was, uh, that was a good improvement. So tossing that wheel now. Woo! Trying to get in. Too big. Oh! 
um, Rick Ross, mate, and DMX, stuff like that. Yeah, the proper hardcore train. Get ya, get out of nowhere. That machine it fucking creeps up on ya. And you think you're going well, and then like you hit your ninth breath, it'll just be like, pow! You fucked. <laughs> Tell you what, okay? I'm telling you, I'm Me, mom, mom, boo. And once again, we're training with a fucking vegetable back, so what I'd usually do is cable low row, but that relies a lot on low back support, so you basically support yourself with your low back, if you're doing cable row, you'll know this. So what I'm doing is we use day handles, jumping on the T-bar here, we've got the same grip, neutral grip, chest supported, taking the lower back pretty much out of it. Yes, I'm still pressing through the feet, but I'm not feeling any pain or irritation there, so it's fine. I'm just working the upper back as much as I can without bringing the lower back into it. Try and work out what's on there. 25s by the way, no, 20s, right? That's the thing with 25 plates. Everyone thinks of 20s anyways, right? So like when you're looking at that, you're thinking, oh, that's two 20s and 15s. So it's bullshit. There's, you have to have like a vice grip to actually carry them. Because they're like a bit thicker and obviously way heavier. Way heavier, it's five kilo, but they just shit. And they make you like have to recalculate your weight. So like you put a 25 on, you're like, right, it's just two plates, but it's not, because it's actually 15 or 40. So now what do I need on to make it up? But they're just horrible plates. If you like 25 plates, the only reason you like 25 plates is if you're ridiculously strong and fully loaded machine with 20s, and then you need 25s. That's the only reason. It's actually all right. Um, I was half expecting a little bit of irritation in the back there, but it was actually alright. It felt like, obviously when you extend up, more like a dead hang. You dead hang and you let your, your spine expand a bit and release a lot of pressure. It sort of felt like that. Don't take me word for it if you've got a bad back and jump onto that pull down, overloading it and letting it pull you up because you could really hurt yourself. So don't be busy, disclaimer, don't be an idiot. But that felt alright. Do you reckon American cereal's overrated? Because... Like... Crunchy nuts, mate. Crunchy nuts are leech. Do you know what used to be mint, right? That's my desert island crunchy There was these, mate. Do you know like when you think something existed and then no one else knows? And you're like... Am I, am I living in fairyland here or what? But like... Crunchy nuts. Cluster bites, they look like tiny little wheat bix but they're crunching on clusters. And they had like this toffee caramel thing in me, and they were like, oh mate, they're sensational. I used to have them. They like, don't. The light wheat bix minis, but they're made of crunchy nut clusters. Let them go and cool. Oh, right. If it's a cold, I was going to say, you heat your wheat bix up. I'd say it's his wheat bix up. 
bit of almond milk though. In the microwave. There's <laughs> 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 one once you're in here. It's actually one of the nicest movements on me back that I feel. But getting wrapped on. Fucking so hard. I've got little arms, like, um, not very long. That's what she says. I, I, I say they're not very long because I've got massive arms. <laughs> I've got short arms, so I cannot reach them. So I have to wrap it on. You have to wrap one, I'll have to wrap one. And then, like, sort of hold that weight while I wrap the other one. It's a fucking nightmare. But. Hey? Do you want to say short arms? Massive dick! <laughs> <laughs> Combination of a shit grip and sweaty hands. Foxy. Yeah, you Big dick. <laughs> so that is it. I need to put my bow at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for the session we've made it through triceps biceps back with a bad back so you can either get in and get the work done work around it or you make an excuse and sit at home on the couch that little bitch so it's up to you obviously seek professional advice before you take my advice um, I can give professional advice on training nutrition stuff like that not on injuries but I'm just an absolute beast so I'm going to train through it um, yeah, so the back is feeling much better every day. I'm waking up less and less pain. First day, after I hurt it, I was going to be the worst one. Woke up in a hotel bed. Literally, I sort of just fucking salmon flop onto the floor and drag myself up. Back was completely cut puts. But uh, yeah, it's loosening off every day. So I know it's nothing too bad, just a, just a strain. But uh, we'll be back. We'll be back on the um, deadlift platform, back under the squat rack before you know it. But today was all about how to train around an injury. I think we've done that pretty well. Got in some good sessions, got in some good sets even. Um, my back feels a bit split. My tries and buys were pumpy as fuck, so all is good. Um, if you did enjoy this content, please toss a like, toss a comment if you want to see anything at all, and subscribe, because the more people who subscribe to me, the quicker I can just do this all the time, because I fucking love it. So get subscribing, catch you later.